We're in Belgium and the Netherlands driving around visiting 3D printing facilities. Clustered in this area are some of the leading companies in the world. We're visiting them as part of the research for our print shift magazine that we're doing with Blurb. One of the really cool things about working with Design on this magazine, first of all, it's Design. I mean, they're top drawer in terms of design, so I personally can't wait to see it. So they'll lay it all out. They'll upload the file. The file will go off to Eindhoven in the Netherlands. They've got this massive factory behind it, unbelievable quality control. They'll be printed one at a time based on the order. So you come to Blurb, you type in Design, you'll place an order for a copy. It'll be printed to your spec in real time, and it will arrive on your doorstep in about a week's time. When I first saw the technologies, I was, I was mesmerized. You know, I was like, whoa, this is going to really change the world. And I immediately saw the whole future in it. And people would download files, and they would print things at home, and start sharing those files with others. And you know, it would be like this crazy, crazy world where you could just create whatever you wanted. Rapid prototyping used to be an expensive technology, but the further we go in time and, and the technology becomes uh, more and more affordable, that is also why the consumer gets access to these, these technologies. We offer an internet service where the consumer can upload uh, his design and where we'll use our professional printers to make high quality printouts and then ship it by courier services to the consumer. I really believe that in 10 to 15 years from now, if you look back on the year 2013, you thought, wow, I couldn't get that customized. I couldn't get that coffee machine 10% smaller. That's crazy, why not? So just as natural as you have internet now everywhere, it will be very natural that objects are not static, solid things anymore, but you can adapt them to your needs.